I'm Charlie. And I'm Drew. And this is I, Charlie. Charlie. Well, Charlie, it's Sunday night. How was your tournament? I'm pleased to report that my team won our age group in the Blue-Gray Tournament in Montgomery. We have been the tournament champions for two consecutive years. That, that's just great. You know, I was on the team with you last year when we won. Yeah, we miss you, Drew, but now you're playing American <coughs> football instead of real <coughs> football. Anything going on with your team this week? Just practice. We don't have a game this week. The varsity team has a game Friday night at Barry Middle School. Everyone should come out and support them for these home games. And there is a home volleyball game Thursday night at 6 at Pelham High School. Those volleyball games are action-packed. I wish we could go to that, but I have football practice. And I have soccer practice that night. Speaking of soccer, we have a game Wednesday night at Homewood, and then we travel to Fairhope on Saturday. Ooh, remember last year when we had a flat tire on the interstate on the way to Fairhope? Dad was not happy, <laughs> especially since we were in Mom's minivan, and he couldn't figure out how to get, out, get to the spare tire. Yeah, but we figured it out and made it down in time for the game. It's a good thing Dad always allows time for problems. Better early than late, he and I always say. You know. And now we would like to introduce a new segment to Hi Charlie. <clears throat> viewer Mail, where we will read and respond to email from actual viewers. We start this segment in response to an angry email from one of our viewers. Okay, Charlie. Today we'll be reading an email from Caroline Harrell. It begins, Dude, you're so uncool. She said we're not cool? Not we, Charlie. You. I would like to point out that this email was sent to you, not me. Shall I continue? <sighs> Certainly. She goes on to say, On the last I, Charlie, you guys sang happy birthday to Marky, which is tomorrow, when mine is the day after. How could you, Charlie? I'm just messing with you. I know you had no idea when my birthday was. I'm actually turning 13. Not, I mean, 12, not 13. I'm not kidding. Ask Drew. He thinks I'm his savior for being the youngest in the class. But not the shortest, I'm happy to say. Yeah, she does keep me from being the youngest. And might I add that though you and Caroline are the youngest two, you are definitely two of the coolest. I quite agree. We, Caroline and I, are also remarkably mature for our age as well. Yeah, and tall. Let's not push it there, buddy. And cool. And blonde. <laughs> well, you're blonde. We hope that Caroline will find it in her heart to forgive the unforgivable, pardon the unpardonable, reach deep into her heart and find a way to forgive us of this grievous error. And of course, we do wish Caroline a heartfelt happy birthday <laughs> on Tuesday, September 30th. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caroline. Happy birthday to you. So, when you see Caroline, remember to wish her a happy birthday and to tell her you heard about it right here on I, Charlie. And folks, to keep the viewer mail segment alive, we need to hear from our viewers. Send emails to charlienbell at aol.com. Or drurybell at aol.com. Well, Drew, anything exciting happened on the home front while I was away in Montgomery winning the Blue-Gray Tournament? Yes, Charlie. In fact, there was some excitement this morning. This morning, as you and Dad were gone, Mom was on her way to church with Bonnie to teach her and Dad Sunday school class by herself. Well, those little five-year-olds are funny. But I don't know if I'd call Mom teaching it by herself exciting. Especially for the five-year-olds. Dad is definitely their favorite, you know? Yeah, they can't even say Mom's name. They call her Miss Alyssa. Yeah, but they can all say Wally. They say, Mr. Wally, we've seen your movie. Yeah, but Mom never got there. That was the exciting part. She had a flat tire just before she got about a quarter of a mile down the road. Ooh, did you have to change the tire, Drew? Well, I wasn't there. I've had a cold, you know, and I wasn't feeling well, so Mom 
had let me stay at home, so it was just Mom and Bonnie. Ooh, does Mom know how to change a tire? That would be a big negatory. She couldn't even find the spare. <laughs> mm. So what happened? According to Bonnie, Mom was only worried about the five-year-olds. Luckily, one of Mom's friend's husbands drove by and called his wife, who called Mom. And Mom told her the only thing she needed her to do was to start going through the phone book to find a church member who was still home to find someone to take care of the five-year-olds. What about the tire? Mom flagged down Helena policeman who was driving by, and he and another one that came up later changed the tire. And the five-year-olds? Mom's friend, Mrs. Kim Cooper, got a hold of the Marvins. Does Mrs. Kim Cooper know the Marvins? No, she just called him and said that she was Mom's friend and that Mom needed someone to take care of the five-year-olds. How weird. They're all involved. <laughs> Mom said that Jason's dad drove up to where the policemen were trying to find the spare tire and got the Sunday school materials and the Cheez-Its. She was upset when she forgot to give Mr. Marvin the sweet tarts. Oh, no. That's their favorite thing. Yeah, but the policeman got the, ch got the tire changed, and Mom took it in to get new tires, and now everything's okay. She's planning on making a treat for the Marvins and for Mrs. Kim Cooper to show her gratitude. She said that if she gets a chance next weekend, she's even going to make something and take it to the Helena Police Department. Mom really needs to learn how to change a tire. Yeah, it's weird thinking about her being so totally unable to do something so ridiculously easy. Yeah. Speaking of Mom, has she done the laundry today? I don't think so. The whole tire thing. And then it took like three hours to get the new tires on. She's been exhausted. I think she might already be in bed. Then are we going to have clean clothes for school tomorrow? Good point. We better go get her up so she can wash us some clothes. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> folks. We actually do know how to do laundry. Even though our strong preference is for Mom to do it. Yeah. Well, that's about it for tonight. Tune in soon for another episode of I, Charlie. Charlie.